What you are looking at in this footage is freshwater meeting seawater, which was filmed where the Fraser River enters the Strait of Georgia in Vancouver, Canada. This is where the freshwater of the river, which is full of silt, meets the denser clear blue salt water of the ocean, making it look like there are two separate bodies of water not mixing. Now it may appear like the freshwater is pushing back the seawater and creating this boundary between the two waters, but that's not the case. The two waters are mixing, it just doesn't look like it. When the fresh water crosses the boundary to become salt water, it suddenly becomes very clear, which is why the boundary seems to exist between the dirty and clear waters. The brown murkiness of the river water is suspended sediments, which are silts and clays carried by the fresh water. However, salt ions in the seawater bind to suspended particles and cause them to stick together, causing them to become heavier and sink to the bottom of the ocean, making the water become clear. So where it may appear like an impenetrable boundary between two distinct bodies of water, it's actually a very sharply defined mixing zone. The lighter fresh water rises up and over the denser salt water, creating a boundary under the surface, where the particles are binding together and dropping down, forming a sediment layer, and mixing the two waters together. Now I have read many comments on videos like this, and it seems there are a lot of people who view this as a religious event, and there is even a reference in the Quran to an event like this. I myself believe it's simple science, with a simple explanation. The fresh water of Fraser River and the salt waters of the Strait both have different density, temperature, saltiness and different materials in it, causing them not to mix. It's pretty much like how oil and water don't mix. But the waters are absolutely mixing, it just doesn't look like it on the surface. Now I understand people are always looking for miracles of God in everyday events. But the mixing of freshwater streams with ocean seawater is very common. But not all rivers produce this amazing boundary effect as the Fraser River. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.